It's just things ratcheted up just a little bit. Uh, pretty much. It's, uh, you know, this rivalry we play against a great team, in Florida State, and I'm pretty sure everybody is uh, more amped up to be part of this game. It's a tradition. It's something that you come to the University of Miami for. So. You know, things are pretty amped up. Do you think if you're a high school senior being recruited by both schools that the results of this game could tip the scales one way or the other? How, how does a senior look at this game? Well, it could, you know, because um, both, both schools are great schools to, uh, to attend. And uh, usually it is the win out of this, you know, pretty much gets the, uh, I guess, the, the better guys or whatever you, whatever you may call it. But, you know, we're, we're worried about playing a football game. Yeah. And, uh, we want to take care of our business. How much more people are out for the court? That's very important uh, to go out with a bang because uh, it is our rival and uh, it's like one of the most important games of the year. Uh, this is our championship and uh, we're going to make it the best. Do you guys talk about it? Oh, yeah, we talk about it. Uh, something that's has been brought up, you know, you got to go out here and uh, you know, win this game in the last four or the last three. And um, so that's pretty much what we just prepare mentally and physically to get ready for a challenge. Mr. Corey, you talked yeah. about, you talk about it's your championship, but do you think when you came here this would be more than just your championship? Maybe it would be a bigger picture than the national championship? Well, of course you always have, you know, always think of those things before you get here, but uh, being now that that's not possible, the national championship is not possible. You gotta you know, make this a championship. Man. You gotta go out there and play your hardest, uh, give you all, and not just fight for your teammates. What are some of the keys to victory for the Um, just cut down on any mistakes, anything that could put us behind the eight ball. You don't want to be in any negative situations with this team because they're a great defense. And, uh, just focus mentally and just be, be uh, in tune with your assignments. And I think if you we just do all those things physically, we're, we're able to uh, put up a good game. How much does it help you that in the past you've had, you know, done so well there in Tallahassee? Does that give you a little confidence? It's a sellout game that they just announced. Um, you know, it'll be, I think it's just fun. Just to play, play in front of that crowd. And, uh, see everybody doing a little tomahawk chop. Uh, that's gonna be cool, but you know it's it's a part of college football, and that's something that we, we enjoy and we're glad we're part of. But how what about when you played there last? That's what I'm saying. We're, we're not. We're, you had a great game, I guess. You're, uh, yeah, you had a great game. Talk about a little bit about that game and what confidence you know that gave you. Guys like Sean Spence was the one that kept me in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, that game it was a great game. It's very emotional, you know, I guess the crowd was the reason why, because you get so in tune with hearing the crowd cheering and stuff, it just amp you up and you have a lot of fun. And, you know, we just want to go out there and, uh, and win this game and have a good one. Where's that rank as far as your favorite wins? I think that was my number one favorite one. Do you ever, I don't know if anyone asked this before, because I just came in, but I, you said it's your championship game, but do you ever think that it's possible you guys could not go to the bowl I didn't think about all those things. I don't know what's going on with those things. So um, that's, that's, that's in the back of my mind. Nothing that I'm worried about. Right now, I'm just prepared for Florida State and get ready to take on this test. So, Corey, the, this process that Coach Golden talks about, Sean said he almost wish he had another year to, to really do big things here. How do you feel on that? Yeah, the way things are going here and this uh, system with Coach Golden, they're going well. And I just feel like if I if we all have another year, we'll, we'll make the best of it. But unfortunately, you know, we got to move on with life, and you can't turn back the hand of time. So just going to accept what we have here and just make the best of it. Having said that, do you feel this game going forward for the future of the program, these rivalry games, I guess, are even bigger? Yeah, they are. Uh, we want to help propel this team into next season, you know, send them off with a bang so that next season they can just continue the momentum and then they continue being successful. Did you used to watch this rivalry growing up on TV? Yeah, pretty much you did. did how uh, about the kicks, all the games that were decided by kicks? Talk me about and Sean sat downstairs in the, from the ticket um, area yesterday and they replay everything, all the great games, and we've seen pretty much every game there was within an hour of all the wide lefts, wide rights. So, Sometimes they beat us, they blow us out sometimes. Big hit on Roscoe Parrish. Uh, so 
we know the tradition, we know the history behind this game, and we just happen to be a part of it. With your kicker, um, how you know Jake Whitelaw came in this year, nobody really knew much about him, and he's really performed well. How important has he been to the team? Talk a little bit about him. That's very important because uh, nobody, Jake is our sleeper. Nobody knew that he was going to be. Uh, it's good outside of the program, but we knew we all had faith in him. It's just the thing that, it's just the, that he sat behind a great, another great kicker, Mike Bosch. So uh, he waited his turn, and he deserved everything that he's uh, that he's putting up right now. Is he a quiet guy? I mean, what's he like? Um, he may be quiet to everybody else outside of the program, but uh, we, when we with him, you know, going over there to his house and stuff, just chilling with him. He's he's a very like, social guy. So, Jafari, the fact that this type of impact because this type of game for the recruits that are going to be at Doe Campbell that right, and just watching both teams. Pretty sure it's going to be a big impact on the recruits because uh, all of them watch this game and they all pretty. I don't know if they're going to make the decisions based off of this game, but. You know, we want to pay. We want to pay attention to what's going on the field. We want.